So you've crammed a bunch of stuff into WordPress, and it's like, I'm almost there. Um, I know how to make my background. I know how to set it to the pixel resolution I want so that I don't lose quality. I've even found Creative Commons licensed images, so I'm not ripping anyone off on copyright. So you're finally at the last step of the, the process, and it's like, well, how do I add other stuff to this image? How do I make it really pop, add some effects, uh, cut and paste, rotate images? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. It's important to cut and paste images in any photo Im imaging software because that's basically how we work with things. This isn't like a drawing or a rendering software where would you would imagine you'd be drawing a lot by hand and kind of cutting and pasting those images that you worked with. Instead, you're, you're grabbing stuff from all sorts of places, you're mashing it together, you're mixing it up, you're collaging. Um, and so basically, it's really important for me to show you um, how to cut and paste these images and work with them in different spaces. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump into the tutorial and show you how to do that. We have all the cats. Oh, this one is and perfect. It's from Flickr. So we can go to full-sized image of Flickr and copy the address again. Copy. Go back to Pixlr and then go to File, Open Image, URL. And now we're going to import this image in also. Hit OK. And we've got this adorable cat. And I just want his head. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use my lasso tool to cut it. And just cut around. Use your judgment. I like to look at it as like cutting and pasting a collage with scissors where things don't have to be exactly right, but you want to get it as good as possible. So you go through the whole thing, cut out the head, keep going, and stop. And you get this lasso thing, and then you can go to image, copy. And then after you've copied that image of the cat's head, you can go to your other thing and go to image, paste, or edit paste. And of course, this cat head is way too big. So this is where the pointy tool comes in handy. And actually, you can go to edit, free transform. It makes this box. And we can shrink it, rotate it, and do all sorts of things. You can even copy it. So let's take this cat head. Now it's a good size. And I'm going to copy it, edit. Yes, apply the changes. We go to edit, copy. And then I'm going to paste it, edit, paste. Uh, and I like to use these shortcuts as I do these things. So. Again, edit, free transform, shrink it to the right size. And I can even rotate it with this, like so. And do that. Apply the changes. Yes. Yes. All right, so then we've got these two cat heads. And we can select them or move them around. Um, and then, you know, it's just a matter of image, uh, copy, paste, and, you know, we can do anything we want with these cats now with these tools, free transform. Yes, apply the changes, um, edit, paste. Free transform. So cool. I'm going to have so many cat heads on here when I'm done. You're going to be jealous of my blog. And then one more. I'm going to paste it in. Of course, I want to apply the changes, Pixlr. All right, edit, free transform. Shrink this last cat head down. Put it over here. This one's way too big. It's like a wolf head. All right, so we do that. Good. So now you know how to cut and paste these images and mo modify them a little, transform them into different sizes. Um, it's worth taking a minute or so to also show you how to add effects to one of these um, images, just in case you want to treat it a little, uh, make the background a little more weird looking, give it a different color treatment.
So let's go turn the camera back around to see how to modify the hue, contrast, brightness, the color balance of any image. Great, so this is basically just the basic primer on how to use something like Photoshop or Pixlr, but I really think that these tools can be applied to any photo editing software. So I hope this has been helpful for you, and um, I'm sure that you can apply it to anything you... So you select your background layer after you've added everything else, um, and that lets us just adjust what's going on in the background. And then if we go to adjustment, you can do things like brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. And this is cool stuff for affecting the color and the image quality, so you can oversaturate or make it really deep and undersaturate it. Make it a little deeper, a little more contrasty. It's kind of cool, kind of surreal, hit OK. And then adjustment, I also like to work on hue, kind of dim the colors in the background or make them weird. Looks like poison, crazy water right now. There we go, okay. So now we've got this crazy cat image and maybe I wanna add some bold text. Put it right here, best blog ever. Uh, choose a nice font, whatever you want. Windings, don't use that. Um, webdings, don't use that either. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff though. How about 8-bit limit? Oh yeah. You may not have that on your computer. That's one of my special fonts. Alright, best block ever. Style, bold, of course. Um, and color. Choose the color. Something white to clash with what we have going on here. Oh, I like that. Okay. Of course, we can take this kind of center thing. Okay. And now, after you've got your header, go to File, Save. And I usually save my stuff to my desktop. Let's call it Cat Blog Header. Quality, make it full. It's going to be a pretty small file no matter what. And after I say OK, it's going to let me save it to my desktop. But you can get more options if you click on this little upside down carrot thingy here. But I'm going to say desktop because that's where I want it to go. Save. Image saved. And then if we go to the blog, I can go choose an image from my computer. Select the cat blog header I just made. Choose. Upload, and you're going to see here's the, the trick, is that after I upload it, it's perfectly sized, so it fits exactly how I want it. And then I can save changes. And then if I want to visit my site, I'll follow the link. And now my site has this awesome best blog ever header with my cat heads upside down and normal. And that's how you edit photos to uh, add to your blog. So I hope this was helpful and useful and you learned a few things about photo editing. Uh, nothing too advanced. Just remember some of the basics. Uh, cutting and pasting, getting stuff in there, using layers, selecting layers, and then being able to filter them for cool effects like pixelate. So we can turn this into a pixel cat. There we go. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Great. So now that you've really learned how to use this and apply this to any other photo editing software suite, um, it's time to go and be creative. So good luck. I hope this has been really useful, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial series. Thanks. It's been fun.